Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to replace the hard drive in a late 2009 27-inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, shut down, unplugged, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front glass. Open the handle of one of your suction cups, press it against one of the upper corners of the front glass, and close the handle to secure it in place. Repeat the process on the other side. Then, gently pull forward on the handles, separating the glass front from the magnets that hold it in place. You can then lift the glass up and out of the iMac and set it aside. At this point, you'll need to be careful not to touch the screen directly as the oils from your hands are difficult to remove. Next, we'll need to remove these eight Torx T10 screws. Once the screws have been removed, use your nylon pry tool to gently pull the screen forward until you can grip it with your fingers. Then, pull the LCD further forward until you can see the vertical sync cable in the top left corner. Detach it by pulling it straight up and out of its connector. Below the vertical sync cable is the backlight power cable. Detach it by lifting the connector off the clip and sliding it downwards. Next, slide the LCD temperature sensor cable out of its socket. Finally, detach the DisplayPort connector by squeezing the side tabs and gently pulling upward. You can now lift the LCD unit up and out of the iMac and set it aside. The hard drive is located near the center of the iMac. Lift the hard drive temperature sensor cable out of the iMac and detach it from its port on the logic board. Next, detach the SATA power and data cables from the drive. Finally, remove these two Torx T10 screws that hold the drive in place. We can now lean the drive forward slightly, then lift it up and out of its bay. We can now transfer the mounting hardware from the original drive to the new one. Start with the two Torx T8 mounting pins on one side, and then replace the mounting bracket on the other. We can now install the new drive into the iMac. Set the mounting pins on the drive into the corresponding gaskets in the iMac's drive bay. Then, lean the drive back into place, making sure not to trap any cables underneath. You can then secure the drive with the two Torx T10 screws you removed earlier. Next, reattach the SATA data cable directly to the drive. For the power connection, first attach the IMAX SATA power cable to the OWC temperature sensor connector cable. Then, attach the sensor cable to the hard drive's connector and position the cable off to the right so that it sits out of the way. Peel the adhesive backing off the temperature sensor board and attach it to the drive near the spindle.
Finally, attach one end of the logic board connector cable into the port on the sensor board. and the other into the temperature sensor port on the logic board. Then, tuck the cable out of the way. We are now ready to close up the iMac. Set the LCD into the iMac, but don't lean it back. First, reattach the temperature sensor cable by simply sliding it into its slot. Then, do the same for the DisplayPort connector by sliding it in until it clicks. On the left side, push the power connector back into place until the locking tab engages. Finally, slide the vertical sync ribbon cable into its connector. Once all the cables are attached, you can lay the screen all the way back. We can now replace the eight Torx T10 screws that hold the LCD in place. To ease alignment, place a small screwdriver in the topmost hole on one of the sides and use it to position the LCD. Then, insert a screw into the next lower hole, but don't tighten it all the way. Do the same thing on the other side. You can now replace and tighten the four screws on each side. Once all the screws have been replaced and tightened, all we have left to do is to replace the glass. Set the glass into place along the lower edge by lining up the tabs with their corresponding slots. Use your microfiber cloth to gently wipe any dust off the screen and the inside of the glass. Lean the glass back up into place until the magnets catch. Then gently squeeze along the top edge to make sure all the sides are flush. You can now remove the suction cups and wipe away any marks using your microfiber cloth. You may now plug in your iMac, hook it back up, and turn it on.